Hey guys, welcome back to Decorate with Dana. Today we are working in my powder room bathroom and I'm just giving you some decor ideas for a small bathroom like this. My goal for this bathroom is just to keep it light and bright for the summer months ahead while giving it a cozy spa-like feeling. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and that it gives you just a little bit of decorating inspiration for your powder room or bathroom. Okay, here's a look at what the bathroom looks like right now. I mean, of course, everything, we, we recently did the vanity, well, probably like a year and a half ago, put the vanity in, took out the pedestal sink. That made a huge difference in here. I had already added this floating shelf above the toilet, and then I have a little bar here with some hooks. Other than that, and then I did do the faux brick wallpaper just on this one wall directly as you walk in and that's it. So um, then we'd also, I spray painted the toilet paper holder and the towel holder matte black. We have the matte black, or not matte black, just we have the black um, faucet and black knobs on the vanity itself. So now we're just gonna like kind of spruce it up a little bit. I've had the same decor in here forever. Just wanted to switch it up. I got a really cute little corner shelf for over here and really just lighten and brighten it up for summer. So I wanted to start out by just adding a couple pieces of artwork onto the walls. This was a two pack set that came from Target. I absolutely love them. They're just a really light botanical prints and I think they're just perfect for the summertime and just keeping it light and airy feeling. So now I'm just moving on to this shelf below the picture. My goal was just to keep this very simple. I wanted to just add this little pot that I got from a local boutique close to me. This greenery is from Hobby Lobby. I love it. It's one of my favorites. And then I just wanted to add a couple of rolled up towels just to give it that spa like feeling. I found this beautiful cane basket at Bed Bath & Beyond. It fits perfectly here on the back of the toilet. I just put one roll of toilet paper, a little vase, and some room spray. I can hide the toilet paper in the vanity. However, I don't want my guests to feel uncomfortable like they have to go it through the drawers of the vanity. I wanna have it e easily accessible if they need to replace the toilet paper roll. So the only thing I purchased new for this bathroom makeover was this beautiful corner cabinet. I found this at Bed Bath & Beyond. I absolutely love the rattan and just the light airy feeling that it gives in this room. So I just wanted to decorate each of the shelves, again giving it a spa-like feeling but yet keeping it simple as well.
So moving over to this little area by the sink, I brought in this wax warmer and there is a plug right here and I tried to like this here because I love the little soft light effect that it gives but I could not stand the cord. No matter how much I tried to like it, I just, there's no way to really hide that cord. So I decided not to put that in here and I replaced it with a candle instead and this really pretty plant that came from Target. Okay, you guys, here is how the little bathroom refresh came out. I think it's really pretty. It's super simple, but it just brightened it up a lot for summer. So that picture up there, along with the picture right here, are both a two-pack that came from Target at the beginning of like the spring's early, early spring, but I, they still might be in the store, so I will definitely link those if I can. The rest of this stuff I have had for a long time, and let's see, down here, this basket came from Bad Bath & Beyond. I really like it. I like the cane detailing on it, and then, you know, the little vase and the room spray I have had for a long time. Over here, this little hand soap, I have like one that says hand soap and one that says dish soap. They came from Etsy a long time ago, so I can't link. If I can try to find the shop, I will link them, but otherwise, you know, I did just get those on Etsy. This really pretty soap was just made by a friend. I love that it smells amazing, and I just put it in that little stone soap dish that came from Target a long time ago. And then this little plant also came from Target a long time ago. I really didn't buy much of anything besides the little corner cabinet over here. This was a little candle that was part of the Hearth and Hand collection. This is the vanity that we got um, from Lowe's. If I can find it, I will definitely link it down below. I love it. It provides a ton of storage. We also did get the faucet there as well. The mirror is from Hobby Lobby last year, I think, in the spring shop, so I don't think I can find that anymore. So that is the other picture that came in the two-pack. This little hook thing came from where this go? Hobby Lobby quite a while ago. This came from a local shop. I love this little basket. And then I just put some dried florals that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then this little corner shelf came from Bed Bath & Beyond. I love it, it fits perfect. This is just a small little space, but I love the light rattan for summer. I like the texture it gives and it brightens everything up. That is just an olive tree that came a long time ago from Target, I've had that for a while. And then this is the little marble tray that a lot of people got from Target. I just put a little candle back there. Of course I am not gonna light that candle up on this. It's really just for display purposes. Um, if I want to light it, I will pull it out. Not, I won't light it underneath this. This is just a natural sea sponge. And then this is just like a little, it's called like a palm massager. Um, so I just put that there. And then these two canisters came from Target a while ago. That is also part of the set with the little soap dish. I just have those there on display. And then I put a few more rolled up hand towels there on display. 
So this was all that I decided to do in this little powder room refresh. I think it looks perfect. I think it's just enough decor. I don't like it to be super busy. So if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you'd give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And be sure to hit that bell notification so you can be notified anytime I upload a new video. And follow me over on Instagram at Decorate with Dana. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. I hope you have a great day.